Yeah, I mean, do you think it's fair too? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, to be totally honest, I got into this industry a long time ago and, you know, I don't have a formal education, but I've kind of sure. scraped and crawled my way <laughs> through it. And so, you know, like I get a lot of pushback on the weights. Um, How so? Uh, they don't, you know, uh, the most common one is if my kid lifts weights, they're going to get slow. I, you know, uh, yeah. I know just based on physics that that's just not how it works, right? The right. more force you can produce against the ground, yeah, you know, you should be able to get a little bit faster. So, yeah. so uh, but, you know, I just to be able to kind of talk about that stuff to parents in a way where, you know, because I tend to talk about things a lot of times in like energy systems. Yeah. Um, and just making that connection, you know, uh, to them between, you know, how the weights are lift lifted based on, yes. you know, rep sets rest duration things like that yeah it's very different you know i can make a a squat set uh, i can sort of drive similar adaptations with a squat that i can with the sprint yeah so, right. so it gets I think, a, yeah i think that's how you have to pitch it right like one of the things that i do to try and disarm people from that that argument right off the bat is say look you know like we're big believers in proper strength training in our gym. I think it's a huge piece of the puzzle. It can make your kid stronger, faster, more explosive, but the key is how we do it. Right. And I yeah. always explain, we're very focused on quality. It's not quantity. It's not, definitely not how much you can lift because I said at the end of the day, we're not trying to be power lifters. We just use weights as a tool to make a faster and more explosive athlete. So I think sometimes it's don't even let them get that thought out. Like if you express it hey, Mike, first, can you say that? Yeah, I, I lost you for a second. Can you just say that one, the, the part about the tool, use it as a tool because I really yeah. like that. Yeah. So we don't use weights for the sake of just putting more weight on the bar. We use it as a tool to drive power and explosiveness with our athletes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Awesome. So yeah. what I found, and, and this may work for you as well, um, Sometimes it's, it's answering the question in their head before they get to say it, right? Because sure. then they feel like, okay, this person already understands. Sure, so if sure. you come at them and say, when they hit, tell me about your program and you work that little piece in there, yeah. then it's like, oh, okay. Because what do most people think of? Most people, like they're not wrong. Like if all you do is bang weights yeah. for like four years and you turn into a power lifter, you will get slower. Right. Right. Yeah. It's oh, like yeah. diminishing returns. So they're yep. not wrong, but it's like, you have to cut that off at the pass and be like, look, that's not how we use weights here. Weights are a part of a well-rounded program. It's going to make your kids stronger, healthier, but most importantly, they're going to be, they're going to be more explosive and more powerful as a result. Right. And that's, that's how we use strength training here. It's not to become a world champion power lifter. It's to become a better athlete. I'm, yeah, I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth, man. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I say it to the kids all the time. Uh, you know, we 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 jokingly, you know, I work with a lot of high school kids, and they like to give me shit, and we push we push each other around a bit, but they're they like to they like to push my buttons with the like, you know, oh, it's we only need skill, we don't need weight room time, you know, kind of right. stuff. Right, right. You know, it's, so it's good. It's good to hear that because that's exactly how I feel, and you know, I it's you know you look I look around sometimes and I see a lot of these places that are we don't lift weights we you know we focus on agility or we focus on right. power and right. like, well, wait I, I do that too but I lift weights also yeah <laughs> you know? good luck good luck building power when your cup is this big yeah you know I, what I mean I agree. our cup's yeah. this fucking big so I can't wait till we match up on the ice and I smash yes. your team 100 percent yeah so I couldn't have said it better myself yeah. So here's, here's another thing that you can think of too um, that I think it's been a game changer for me because like I don't train a ton of football guys, um, but the football guys that I do have, um, I try and again, change their perception of the weight room, right? And it's a performance tool. It's not, <coughs> it's not a contest of how much can I bench or squat or whatever. So yeah. when I can use a tool like a gym aware or a push band or something that's like VBT, now it changes the lens that they look at this through, right? So now it's not just, oh, I benched 365 today. It's, oh man, I just pushed 315, but it was at like 0.55 meters per second. 
Yep. Yeah. Right. For sure. So then too, you don't, you don't get into this argument of, well, I can go heavier coach. It's like, no, you can go as heavy as this thing tells you, you can go right. And then you're always working them in the zone that you want anyways. Right.